Today I'm going to show you guys how to set the timing on an old Dodge small block using my 68 Polara. So what you're going to want to do is bring it up to temp, you know, take it for a drive or something, that's the best way. But once it's up to temp, you're going to want to go ahead, take your air cleaner off. And then your next step is grab yourself a short half inch wrench, or what I'm using is get a quarter inch drive with a swivel and a half inch. You're going to want to loosen this tie down bolt. Uh, Trying to find it for you guys here. There it is. Right there. You're going to want to loosen that off just a little bit so it's hard to move the distributor but you can move it. Next, you're going to want to find the line on the balancer, which if you push on one of the belts and give the fan a turn, usually you can spin the motor over by doing that. There's that line I'm talking about right there. Now what I like to do is go find a new uh, paint marker. Just makes it so much easier to see. You're wondering what the timing is supposed to be set at. You just line it up with that hole at zero. That's factory spec. Of course, you know, older played out motor probably needs a little more advance. After you have that set up, you want to go over and you come back here. You see this. Oh, that's electrical. That line there. Down to this part of the distributor. You want to pull that off and then plug it, which on here, on this car, what I do is jam it onto there. If you don't plug that, you'll have a vacuum leak and then you're fighting that. Next up, you're going to want to hook up your timing light. And it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Like I picked this one up at a garage sale for like five bucks. Works fine. Hook positive and negative up to the battery and then clamp that onto number one plug wire, which on this is number one on driver's side. And then we fire it up and see where that line's at. Eric, can you guys see that? So we're at, I don't know, 5, 10, 15, almost 20 degrees right now. So, it's only me or else. I could live show you guys this. If we go to the distributor, rotate it back. Oh, that changed it drastically. Now we're at, what is that, about five? Let's take it right to zero and see. Oh, we're at five after. Oh, there's zero. That's right on zero. I don't know if you guys can really see that. That's what it calls for, so I got that distributor tight enough it can't move on its own. we are probably going to take it out for a little spin and see how it acts. Well that's going to be it for this one. If you guys got something out of that, then smash that like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. I'd love to see you guys come back for other videos. But that's going to do it for now, and I'll see you guys next time.